Have you been in a healing session that instead of feeling better afterwards, you feel even worse? This usually happens in a healing crisis, a time when your body rebalances its energy. Our bodies are powerful and very intelligent, and they know what they should do to heal. When you come for healing, you are helping your body to heal itself, and it will kickstart the release of old energy as well as the flow of fresh energy. In this video, you will know more about healing crises and how to get through them. By the end of this video, you will understand why you're undergoing a healing crisis and that it is not something that you should worry about. Many people have reported that after a healing session, they felt awful, the exact opposite of what they're expecting to happen. They typically get different kinds of symptoms depending on their illness and the state of their body and mind while undergoing the healing session. They may feel exceptionally drained, heavy, and sleepy. Some even pee many times during the day to release the body's toxins. The Healing Crisis Any kind of healing, cleansing, body, or energy work will all result in a release and flow of energy. This affects the whole body system that can happen simultaneously on different levels. In a healing crisis, you are releasing old and sick energy and replacing it with fresh and new high energy. Because of this change, your body systems adjust and calibrate back into a state of balance. While your body is trying to find a new balance, this is when you experience the healing crisis when you feel uncomfortable symptoms. It can happen in the days or weeks after a healing session. The healing crisis will rock the foundation of your state of being, peel off all pretenses, bare your heart and soul, and afflict your body. It's because the body's toxins and negative energy are released. Both your body and your mind have to undergo a strong and abrupt shift in balance. Once you receive cleansing, energizing, and healing in any of your body's symptoms, physical, energetic, or spiritual, it will follow that the others will also be affected, as they are all connected. The physical body that you see is just the physical vehicle or vessel that the divine being within us is using. And since our body is intelligent and good at calibrating our system into a state of balance, the healing crisis symptoms are usually mild and will be there for a few days, although each of us may experience them differently depending on our overall state. Since healing crises may sometimes feel scary for those who are not familiar with them, this can be confusing and disappointing if you don't see and understand that this is exactly what we want. It may become unpleasant and you might not be able to identify it as a result of your healing session, but you don't have to worry, as it is all part of the process and is essential to true and complete healing. For this, your angels want to reassure you that this is part of the healing process and that this is really what you wanted to achieve. Here are the messages from the six archangels that you can hold on to during a healing crisis. Archangel Raphael Archangel Raphael wants to assure you that he will be with you through the healing process. He wants you to understand that all your body system is doing is moving out all the gunk. This includes your anger, hurt, trauma, betrayal, broken heart, unspoken and ill feelings, rejection, and loss, and that it is not possible to get all these moving without feeling something. Please know that your body is in an unhealthy stasis point, which is based on these negative energies being stuck in your physical and energetic bodies. You can ask Archangel Raphael to reset your stasis point with that of high vibrational and angelic energy and help you adjust to this change smoothly. Archangel Jeremiel Archangel Jeremiel wants to assure you that you are on your way to healing and clarity. When you undergo healing work, you are releasing the patterns of stuckness that no longer serve you. Feeling stuck in your life is something that signals imbalance and stuck negative energy, which can lead you to seek healing in the first place. It could also be difficult to look ahead and make concrete plans. You can call on him to help you navigate through this, release all blockages that cause you to feel stagnant, and help you find purpose and meaning in your life. 
Archangel Haniel. Archangel Haniel wants you to know that if it is not an obvious illness, it will manifest as a feeling that something is off in your life or something is not feeling right. If this is your reason to begin healing work, always remember that Haniel can help you clear the blockages in your energetic body so you will have a better reception of divine guidance. Ask him to help you feel better. Archangel Azrael Archangel Azrael wants to assure you that you will get through negative emotions and find peace and happiness as healing will finally be complete. As the healing crisis evolves, it may sometimes be focused on one aspect of the crisis, whether it focuses on physical symptoms or emotional symptoms, such as emotional pain, grief, or anger. When it comes to emotional symptoms, you can call upon the help of Archangel Azrael to help you overcome these negative emotions. Archangel Jophiel Archangel Jophiel also wants to assure you that order will come out after you undergo a healing crisis. She will help you perceive how things are unfolding in your situation. She wants to support you during one of these experiences. She aims to empower you to see the whole experience of the crisis as what it is, so you can look forward to the results after getting past it. Archangel Metatron Archangel Metatron wants to give you the wisdom to sail through the crisis smoothly. As you move through the experience, the degree of its impact will be seen in the various roles you take as you go through the process. Spiritual healing will sometimes lend you lenses of being the observer, the participant, the dot connector, the deep processing participant, the energy and pattern shifter, or the healing itself to return to balance and equilibrium and into the light. This confusing process will be easier with the help of Archangel Metatron. Your angels want you to release what is no longer needed. There is always a reason why energy gets stuck. This often stems from not wanting to or not being able to face something difficult. It can get stuck from life crises, trauma, or denial as your ego, your body, or your spirit try to protect you. This happens because instead of experiencing everything in the moment and letting it pass through, these negative thoughts and emotions are stuffed deep into your energetic nooks. That's when they accumulate. They manifest as pain and illness. Your angels want to tell you that this is okay in the short run and it's not causing any problems. But when this numbing and stuffing becomes regular and your default coping method, your body system will soon get into trouble. In the long run, these stuck energies will manifest as physical illness. So what can you do to help yourself during the healing crisis? To overcome the healing crisis, it is very helpful to reach out to our angels and ask for assistance. And of course, we also need to help ourselves so healing will be complete. Here are a few things you can do to accelerate healing. You should aim to drink extra water for the next few days. This will help you flush out all the toxins that have built up in your physical body and keep your body fluids circulating. You also need to meditate any time of the day to help your spiritual body as it quiets the mind. Aim to get extra rest by sleeping earlier or extending the time of your sleep a little later. It will help both your physical and energetic bodies to relax and regenerate. You can also spend time writing a journal. It will help you slow down and pay attention to what is going on. Writing is better than thinking and sorting things out as it digs deeper into the layers of your desires and needs. Make sure to eat healthy foods and refrain from unhealthy indulgences. And finally, pay attention to what your body is telling you. If your healing crisis is a bit too strong for you to handle, you can take a break and allow yourself to get ready for the next healing session. Listen to your feelings. If you're feeling uncertain or anxious about undergoing a healing session again, it's all up to you to know what the best approach is and if you want to continue or not. Always remember to not push yourself too much. Go easy on yourself. It's okay to go slow and enjoy the process. After all, it is your journey to healing and renewal. Here is a beautiful prayer you can use to ask Archangel Raphael for healing today. O oh, Holy Archangel Raphael, 
You have always blessed our world with your wisdom and grace. You have always been there to guide us in our journeys, our refuge, our shelter, our healer. These days, my soul has grown tired. My body is lethargic. My mind is in chaos and in utter confusion. I wake up in the morning wondering how I will be. I feel sick day by day. I feel like I am drowning, crumbling as much as the world crumbles. But I feel your presence. Sometimes it is strong and clear. Other times, I have to strain to hear your guidance. Now, I pray that you envelop me in your presence. I ask that you help me in my needs to console the grievances of my heart. I humbly ask that you heal my soul, my body, and my heart. I pray to you, O medicine of God, Prince of Healing, that you may shine your light around me and in me, so that I may never lose sight of the future, so that I may have the courage to face the world, so that I may also become an instrument to heal others, so that I may prevent myself from adding to the pain of the world. I know that you will never forsake me, and I am eternally grateful for your faithfulness. And in turn, I give to you my infinite gratitude and my unswerving faithfulness. Hear my prayers, Archangel Raphael, and heal my spirit. Thank you. As the main authority for healing, Archangel Raphael will always hear you whenever you call upon him. He can guide you to find true healing. He will assure and comfort you throughout your healing journey. If you are in doubt about your healing process, your angels want you to be aware of the signs that your healing is about to come. Watch this video about 10 angel signs that healing is about to come and receive more guidance from your angels or you can check out our Angel Signs and Synchronicities playlist to discover the ways your guardian angels talk and come to you to guide you. Thank you.